Hey guys, this is Thomas over at Mailgun, and I'm super excited to walk you through the new Mailgun control panel. I'll show you some new features and get you accustomed to the new interface. First things first, we've added performance stats to the dashboard, so you can now view any trouble spots with your emails. You're probably pretty used to the same overview, but for all our graphs, you'll notice you have the ability to switch between a line graph and a bar graph. When you scroll down a bit, you'll also see our new quick view so you can access your logs, analytics, and other commonly used features with just one click. This also gives you a great overview of your recent email validations as well. From there, we have the messages section. This is where you'll find sending to your emails as house. With this domain list, you now have the ability to star your domains. So your primary domains will show up at the top of your list. This will especially help if you have thousands of domains. You can also quickly see which region your domain is located in so you don't have to go back and forth between our EU view and our US view anymore. Once you've clicked into your domain you're interested in, you'll find a lot of these menu items you might have been used to in the old UI. You can go into logs and analytics. We've updated analytics to give you more overall performance stats for your domain. We also have some new exciting features such as templates. Here you can create a new email template we have some default ones already available for you. Paste in your HTML, preview it, and you can save it for future use. Then you just call the template ID when you send. If you go into your domain settings, you can grab your SMTP credentials. In the messages section, you'll also find your dedicated IPs and your mailing list. These are pretty familiar to you. Within routes, you can create rules for how you want to handle incoming messages, view your existing routes in the US and EU, or create a new one. Now let's head to our validation section. We now have the ability to bulk validate a list, which we're all really excited about. All you have to do is click the bulk validate button. You'll be prompted to choose a CSV file to upload, and we will validate that list on the spot. Those results will be available to you here, and you can download a CSV with all the results for each email address on your list. As before, you can test out validations with a single email address, and you can view your validations history down below. For any of you that are using our validations API, we have released a new version of the API. You can find all that information in our docs. We definitely recommend switching over as it gives you results on precisely which emails are deliverable and which aren't, as well as risk score associated with every email address. Plus, it's crazy fast. Support has moved from up top to the side. And finally, your account settings are right over here with links to your API keys, your user management area, and your billing information. You can also access support up at the top and you'll see some familiar settings options when you click your profile. I really hope this was helpful. If you have any other ideas that would make your life easier, click on the feedback link and we'd be happy to hear from you. Happy sending.